This is an ecstasy palette. The guys here tell me these change hands for £120 each, although they sold me this one at a mate's rate of just 70 It's chilling to think how easily these can fall into the wrong hands, not to mention a teenage tummy. I'll be disposing of this on my next toilet visit. Because so-called recreational drugs have blighted the lives of junky teenagers for years, from Alad Jones to Zamo to my assistant's nephew, Tim Benfield. And so dispose of it I did, but not before checking it was legit by nibbling a corner off like television detectives do. And whilst this did give me a mild high during which I felt a bit hot and couldn't stop talking about Lewis Hamilton, it was nothing I couldn't handle, and I've no regrets about nibbling it whatsoever. Where are we going now? In actual fact, I enjoyed a perfectly pleasant evening, meeting new friends, chatting amiably, and I was still on the dance floor at 8 o'clock the next morning. <laughs>